I'm equally scared as much as I am excited. I've been waiting so long for that movie to come out and truth be told, I'm still waiting. The anticipation is real. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host Joss and today we're gonna be talking all about movies. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're digging it and leave some love in the comments below. So, real talk. Ever been so excited for a movie to come out you just can't even contain it? You order your tickets like three weeks in advance and go through three hours early just to get a decent seat at the premiere, maybe even camp overnight outside the theater. Don't be shy. I know you have, but I get it. The anticipation can be unbearable when it comes to our favorite movies, which is why today I'm gonna share the top 10 most anticipated movies of 2019. Tell me in the comments below what movie you're most excited to see this year, and stay tuned until the end of this video. I'm gonna be responding to some of your comments from my very first channel video, the top 10 Frozen 2 fan theories. get started at number 10. Where are my Avengers fans at? I know you guys are all going crazy over the new Avengers Endgame movie coming out this April, and that's why it's taking our number 10 spot. After the devastating events of Avengers Infinity War, the Marvel Universe is in ruins. Prepare yourself as the Avengers assemble together once more in order to undo Thanos' actions and restore order to the universe. This one is going to be a good one. Adrift in space with no food or water, Tony Stark sends a message to Pepper Potts as his oxygen oxygen supply begins to decrease. Meanwhile, the other Avengers, Thor, Black Widow, Captain America, and Bruce Banner must figure out a way to bring back their vanished allies. This is going to be one of the most epic battles between Marvel's biggest superheroes and their greatest enemy. It could even double as a tearful goodbye for fans as it wraps up for a long and windy storyline. So we might as well enjoy it while it's here. April can't come soon enough. Coming in at number 9 is Pet Cemetery. I feel like those are two words that don't belong in a sentence together, but if you're a horror fan like me, this movie is for you. Pet Cemetery is originally a horror novel written by the legend Stephen King in 1983. King is known for his novels which are often described as disturbing and messed up. I'm a fan of his books myself so I am thrilled to see this one come to life. If you haven't read any of his books, you're missing out, but The Pet Cemetery is the story of Dr. Lewis Creed and his wife Rachel who relocate from Boston to Maine with their two young kids. Once their move is settled, they soon discover a mysterious burial ground hidden deep in the woods near their home. Apparently it's where the children of the town bury their pets, as they are told by their questionable neighbor Judd, but they start to discover some weird terrifying secrets about the backyard. Strange events and tragedies start to happen and it becomes to make the family and the audience wonder if it's actually a cemetery for pets. Is it a cemetery for humans? Is it a cemetery at all? Watch the movie and find out this thriller comes out April 5th. At number 8 we have the Disney favorite Aladdin. How can there not be anticipation for Disney live action remakes? People are already getting familiar with the new upcoming cast members and people are going crazy for the actor filling in the genie's role. What better actor to fit the role than the hilarious Will Smith? I mean seriously, it takes someone with a strong personality to walk in the late Robin Williams toe curled shoes and make a new mark on its role. Not only are people losing their minds over Will Smith, they also have their eyes on who's playing the evil villain Jafar. Social media is enjoying a taste of the dark side, showing much love for the villain of the story. Marwan Kanzari is taking on the role and apparently isn't hard on the eyes as villains maybe should be. Disney fans have taken it to Twitter with the hashtag, hashtag hot Jafar. One fan even says, but they cast this gorgeous man as Jafar, so I'm rooting for evil. Settle down ladies and gents, this is still a Disney movie. I'm more interested in the beautiful duet song on the magic flying carpet, but that's just me apparently. Taking over the number 7 spot spot is the newest Godzilla movie, King of the Monsters. Yes, Godzilla is back again, but this time he's bringing some other monsters with him. Yup, joining the war is Mothra, Rodan, and the three-headed dragon, King Ghidorah. 
The graphics in this movie look insane. Seeing these monsters battle it out is going to be intense. I have no idea who will win that fight. And although the sequel to the 2014 reboot introduces new versions of Zilla's old friends and foes, it also has some awesome human cast too. You know, in case you were hoping for something beyond giant monsters fighting each other. One of my favorite young stars joins the squad, Millie Bobby Brown, also known as Eleven in the Netflix hit Stranger Things. I think I'm more excited for the human cast than I am the monsters. Is that bad? Coming in hot at number 6 is Men in Black International. Coming out later this year on June 14th, the fourth Men in Black movie with a brand new cast. While it doesn't star the series usual actors, this one reunites Chris Hemsworth and Tessa Thompson, who worked together in the Thor movie. This pair have already proven themselves to be perfect comedic action heroes. Why make audiences wait longer to see them work together again? The famous Agent H. Hemsworth finds a new recruit, Thompson, to throw on the black suit with sunglasses and kick some serious butt in London. But fans can't help but wonder if Will Smith will be making a cameo in this one. No word on it so far. I say who cares? When you have a dynamic duo like this one, it'll be good no matter what. One of my favorites is coming in at spot number 5 and that is Toy Story 4. All of my childhood dreams are coming true this year. The Disney classic hits theaters on June 21st. We haven't seen Buzz or Woody since 2010 when we were all emotionally empowered by Toy Story 3. This fourth Pixar journey follows Woody, Buzz, and the rest of the gang as they adjust to life without Andy. They go on a road trip with their new pal Forky, who's basically just a spork with arms. Along the way, some lessons about friendship will be learned, and if history repeats itself, the audience will end up in a blubbering mess. Don't even pretend like you didn't cry when Andy left them. I am personally over the moon excited for this one. This will always be a toy box that's worth reading. Opening. At number four, we have Us, a follow up smash hit to the thriller Get Out. There isn't much more of a wait for this highly anticipated movie. It comes to the big screen on March 22nd. Although the first story had us all in a psychological mess, this one will probably do the same but with a different story. Adelaide Wilson returns to her childhood beachfront home with her husband and two children. Soon after, she's haunted by a traumatic experience from the past and begins to get concerned that something bad is going to happen to her family. Her worst fear soon become a reality as the story goes. Four masked strangers descend upon the house, forcing the Wilsons into a fight for survival. If you thought that sounded thrilling, wait till you hear this. When the masks come off, each stranger takes the appearance of a different family member. They look exactly like us. They think I guess they weren't lying when they said we are all our own worst enemy. On a lighter note, filling our number 3 spot is another Disney live action remake, The Lion King. It's the one that everyone is waiting for, especially after the teaser trailer dropped. Sneak peeks are claiming it's as stunning as the animated original and replicates it perfectly. And by the looks of it, they are right. Watching that just brings me back to my childhood. It's almost scary how real everything looks. Not only are the graphics incredible, but people are raving about the cast. Donald Glover is the voice of Simba, and Beyonce is voicing Nala. Beyonce? You're kidding, right? Not only them, but Seth Rogen and Billy Eckner team up as a hilarious duo to play Timon and Pumbaa. I'd go see any movie if it involves a cast like this. Everyone is hoping that this new adaptation to the 1994 original will match all the hype and be worth the wait. There's no doubt in my mind that it will be. Bringing in number two is a spin-off from the legendary Fast and the Furious. This spin-off is called Hobbs and Shaw. Yes, you heard that right. The Fast and Furious universe is expanding with the series' first ever spin-off, featuring an iconic duo, Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jason Statham. Our target's name is Brixton. Double the fun. Security agent Luke Hobbs Johnson and reformed Avenger Deckard Shaw Statham team up to battle an international terrorist. This franchise has been in desperate need of more to match the success of the other films. With the teaming of these two charismatic muscle heads, it will most likely be a faster change of pace. Alright guys, I saved the best one for last and with good reason. Taking the number one spot is the highly anticipated sequel, It Chapter 2. What? You 
you didn't have enough scary clown nightmares from the first one? The first terrifying chapter blew everyone away back in 2017, and now this horror hit takes on the second half of the story, another brilliant novel written by Stephen King, where clowns went from circus fun to a children eating nightmare. It has the young group of friends from the first movie, now grown adults, returning to Derry to finish what they had once started, which was ending the curse of the creepy sewer dwelling kidnapping clown. A new cast fills the spots of the once kids. That was right. I saw a leper. Georgie's not dead. You're insane. I'll be 40 and far away from here. Georgie is dead. Once to divide. But don't worry, Bill Skarsgård remains as Pennywise the Clown because let's be honest, no one could do it better than him. I have no doubt that this movie will be just as scary as the first, if not worse. It's a shame we have to wait until September for the release, but in the meantime, we can mentally prepare ourselves. There you have it, guys. The top 10 most anticipated movies of 2019. Let me know in the comments below which movie you're most excited for. In the meantime. Time, I'm going to respond to some of your comments from my top 10 Frozen 2 fan theories video. A huge thanks to everyone who liked, subscribed, and commented. I appreciate all the love. Alex the Girl says, My favorite movie is Insidious, but my favorite Disney movie has got to be Hercules. Both amazing choices, Alex. I'm a sucker for scary movies, so Insidious is one of my faves. Jamie Holmes says, I've got two predictions. Number one, Hans will make an appearance, and number two, Elsa loses her powers and Anna gains them. Man, I hope you're right on number two. I would personally love to see Anna take the lead in Frozen 3. Cool Kids TV says, can you do one on Stranger Things? I would love to do a fan series video on that show. It is one of my favorite shows on Netflix right now. Stay tuned, cool kids. Maybe your wish will come true. Alexis McCall says, my favorite movie is The House with a Clock in the Walls. Yay, Jocelyn. Thanks, Alexis. I appreciate the love. I've actually never seen that movie, so it looks like I know what I'm watching this weekend. There you have it. Guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'm your host, Joss, and I'll see you next time.